Hi Aquarius, this is 2020 tarot reading for you. Oh, one's out. Okay, we'll have it. Um, well, um, draw 12 cards now. Two of Wands as a January just a jumper. I might actually put it just on the side. I'm not going to look at this January, just an influence. I'll see why it is there. Two of Wands. Uh, card of a making decision about something that you already started. Some something is um, started already. You you kind of made the first step towards some new idea. You've got an eye somewhere they overseas but you haven't decided yet which way right so now ten of wands the moon four of swords ace of wands six of pentacles six of swords eight of cups page of pentacles Okay, now September, King of Wands, the Fool, Page of Wands, and Two of Pentacles. Interesting. Mixed bag this year for you. Hey, you curious Ace of Pentacles. Very nice. Very nice. Something very promising that you're expecting, that is influencing energy that you're coming into this year with. You know, it's something very... Um, you planted seed already. That that's what your idea. Your you've done it something already, and I see with two of um, of um, wands that came uh, that just uh, that jumped out. I think it shows your expectation with something that you have started already. That you planted seed. You did plant seed for something. Now in January, ten of wands is you see yourself. I mean, working hard. Will you drop this load? I don't know. I mean, uh, um, the moon card very next. The four of swords very next. Eight so ones in April. Like something new that really comes with a brand new idea. Perhaps related to that what you have started already. What you planted seed for. Your, your, um, it's how to move towards this realization of, of these ideas because you, you've done it already something uh, uh, earlier in the last year or perhaps you will be contemplating that it is now in January you realize that what you had an idea about um, um, that what you plant the seed that you uh, that, that, that you, you plan that is going to bring you abundance and, and happiness and good luck and everything it wasn't this but the, that it wasn't that what you started that you're changing your mind perhaps you see that one as a too hard work too much of an obli too much of obligation too much for you that you can't carry that load that what you started perhaps you realize no I can't carry with this you know this my idea for the for the for the next year, it has to be something else. So perhaps in, in February and, and March, you will be contemplating what else, how I'm going to move from this hard work, incredibly hard work that I just can't handle anymore. How can I move to something else that is also prosperous, that can also bring me this prosperity? I think it's the situation in this first uh, um, four months could very well be something. Yes, oh, you, you've... No, it's not what you wanted. It really brought you too much work. Now, you brought yourself into this contemplative mood. You try to... This is um, the moon and the queen of cups. Go, they go quite well together. Uh, not knowing, not understanding is going within, being stable emotionally, and you will understand, you know. You find here in a situation that you're contemplating but uncomfortable situation both of them in the very uncomfortable situation nothing is moving on nothing is moving on here yeah nothing is moving on um temperance with days of uh, uh, ones uh, february march nothing will move but you will just got you will get out of this situation that's for sure you're going to abandon this project that you have started that um, you thought it might be prosperous and so and so you will abandon because it's too much it's it's not worth the the, the um, it's not worth your effort 
it's not a place that you want to be. It doesn't bring prosperity. You see, you're completely out of there. You, you just realize you're on the wrong side, on the wrong road, on the wrong place you're supposed to be in, but this one doesn't bring you there. Now, you've been, you, it, it, February and, and March particularly, February, you are in a better uh, state of mind, a state of mind, in a better mood. I think this is, you're in a better mood. You know, more stable, more emotionally uh, um, happy with yourself. You, the, you, I think realization that it is not right brought you in a, a good space. You know, realization this is not what I want. It brings you some uh, good space, feeling good. You know, any realization about that, uh, that brings certainty, it, you know, that brought you certainty. You felt very certain, very good with yourself. But then, but then, you know, moving forward with time, you realize, okay, <laughs> but what's next? Where to? You know, it's kind of very much of uncertainty in this first uh, um, couple of month, months of this year, of 2020, that whatever you, you, you wanted, it's kind of didn't come up uh, um, a relief with, with uh, much of a prospect after all. But April... You see, it's a temperance card and Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, it's a bright idea, something you really want to <clears throat> go forward with. A great idea. You're very passionate about the, about this one. But now, being in this January, February and March, in this state of mind, very uncomfortable with, not sure. I have to see situations from a thousand different angles and understand and really know this time which way. I go, how will I proceed? Now, temperance is that what came out within you, <laughs> came out within what you, what, you, what you found within you, temperance God. You will balance this passion. You're not, you'll not go forward just, just like that with something, any idea. You know, this time, I'll do it right. And it seems to me this time you will do it right. You might have help in this side. I, I see I see this six of pentacles, somebody's helping you. The world card. Yeah, you might complete. It's a completion. It could be that, that you, actually you're completing something. Uh, I don't know why, for some reason, it's I'm relating it for... Um, you know, maybe because it's in the same line. I'm kind of relating this help and completion uh, um, with the, with this which you started already. It could be that this load wasn't really dropped completely. That is still some obligation left from previous time, from January, from even even maybe for, from 2019. Something undone, something that was waiting for you to finish, to complete. So you can say, now I put a dot on it. Now I can move on. It's moving on here. It's a gray and green. <laughs> but uh, you're moving on. You're moving on with six of swords and eight of cups further. You know, looking towards this ninth one, with the, which is your wish. I'm, okay, I'm holding in my hands page of wands. Yes, with new idea. You're moving on with new idea. Definitely, you're completing something that you have started. It was related to that, that you had to finish. You just have to finish. Somebody's helping you with it. Or, or you've got resources, uh, power, everything to do that with ease. You're doing it easily this time. You're closing this chapter easily. But I'm, I'm kind of thinking that uh, you actually encounter some... Um, um, the help from from um, from the person who's who does it regularly for you. You wanna help. You wanna do for you. you no, know, you just move on with your stuff. I'll do it for you. No worries and so on. So it could very well be in May. Now June take, brings you uh, uh, takes you. You might travel. You know, with some nice place, some sunny place. You know, you can travel perhaps somewhere overseas. But I I. Um, um, seeing this, this reading, Aquarius, this cards, this energy for this year, I think you will be concentrated on yourself, on moving forward. And it's the central two cards, is moving forward. You have to move forward. Uh, I don't think vacation, <laughs> six of swords, I don't, yeah. Never saw six of swords as a vacation card. 
But anyway, it could be because it we, we, it's a northern hemisphere, it's a summer month. But I think you are moving forward with your new ideas. Um, this one, it says moving forward, moving away actually from the old ideas. Everything is there standing dormant. Everything is here, all the thoughts, all the words, standing here dormant and you're moving towards karma water somewhere else. Because you do have, you do have new ideas and you, you're very passionate, you want to move. I think it's related to this one. It's actually an idea that you got in April, in June, you feel like I'm going to move forward with that one. I'm moving forward with this one. You will leave behind now everything that is already done. You're moving away from that and you're very happy about it. You are very happy. Eight, number eight cards is always proper, prosperous. You're going towards something better undoubtedly here. And seeing in August this page of pentacles after this page of wands, you will uh, um, see some results very, very soon. You will see some results start to, to yield uh, um, something small, you know, but you will see it's there. You will see, you can materialize with this thing. You, uh, uh, um, you, you, you um, have this complete idea about uh, um, um, what you have started this side. Now you're completing it like within yourself, in your mind. Yes, I know, I started, I want to go, I'm, gonna, I'm moving forward with it. And uh, um, you're seeing in August, you're seeing that it can give good results for you. With time, with hard work, it can yield results. Okay, now this four of underneath here. <laughs> Look at this line. Yeah, March and, and, and July. March and July. You find yourself, this situation isn't easy on you, you know. You, you find yourself, you're moving away from old stuff, but uh, um, perhaps it's, it's not easy. This is uncomfortable position and you find yourself, even in March and now again in July, into the situation that you kind of feel uncomfortable with yourself. Nothing much happening here. You put some thoughts in it. It's it's not uh, uh, much worries, you know. But you kind of you going out of the situation that was um, hurtful to you. That was uh, something like too much that you started and and whatever you going out of the situation and um, it was perhaps dragging the whole that thing that you started last year was. Uh, with ups and downs, with ups and downs, you growing, you yourself, you are growing through in April tremendously with, with these ideas, with this um, finding new perspectives in, in March through, uh, uh, I think, encountering some, some help in, in May. And June, July, find you moving forward something. Uh, with uh, something which you see it is prosperous look at him it's holding this this now in his hands it is not just a god's hands that promises yo if you do this you, you will be prosperous now you see yes yes it's there i can do that i see in reality it can be done of course yeah and this yet another hands uh, um, showing new opportunities perhaps another uh, something else that comes with uh, uh, this that something else jumps in uh, your idea that you had uh, um, previously here in, in, in April and you uh, begin to with, with realization in, in, uh, um, in June some new opportunities shows itself here. This is very complementary to that what you started already. Very nice, actually very nice. This media actually sees you through, that you're going through difficulties that you had begin at the beginning of the year with these new things that you wanted for yourself. Like you're jumping from one thing that you started to another and media says, okay, this will work. This you can work with. You know, now King of Wands, it's with the Knight of Pentacles. This is very slow energy that promises after Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, it's a you moving forward. 
with this idea, with these uh, uh, opportunities, you moving forward, you will, you will manifest with this idea. Definitely, no doubt. You are right with that. This idea in April, uh, uh, the, the beginning strongly from from June forward in September, you know it's going forward. It is moving forward in a slow pace. In a slow pace, you feel that you're moving forward in a slow pace. But then, perhaps, did you find? Uh, um, is it your partner or some authority? Now, King of Wands is a person that you're dealing with here yeah, doesn't have much patience with, with this uh, Knight of Pentacles. And this is what you feel like. I'm going slowly towards this. Uh, uh, I will have these results and I'm going slowly towards that. But this is very much of a passion. This is strong, passionate energy. Um, a relentless, uh, aggressive even. Um, insensitive. Now, this is two different energy that we that you see in September. You might be um, uh, uh, um, in between what you feel like, how would you like to proceed? Because it is the energy that you feel within yourself. Slow down, slow down, think twice, think twice, see what the other people think. Again, find yourself, think about it. You know, all the time through this year, you've got yourself into the situation. Think of it. Uh, see what the other people, how other people are doing it. You know, uh, uh, compose yourself, balance yourself all the time. And perhaps you come into the September after all of this, after you are getting your ideas, starting something new, media. You got into September with this feeling of, I'm going slowly. But then something outside says, no, <laughs> move it, move it, do it. Now, somehow in September, you wouldn't like to rush it, but you have to. For some reason, you have to rush the situation. You have to rush with this. You have to go forward because look at this Wheel of Fortune and the full card. You uh, uh, um, look at this again, Wheel of Fortune and the full card. Now, this, what you have started, you had an idea how you're going to proceed, what you're going to get out of it. Now, suddenly, it's in September. It shows uh, as something much bigger. It shows itself as something much bigger. Uh, uh, huge. This is huge fire. That you begin to think that, look at this, Wheel of Fortune and Fool. You begin to think, to feel you, you, I'm, uh, this is much more than I ever thought it's going to be. This is much more than you ever thought it's going to be. You could be overly optimistic here, you know, overly enthusiastic. Perhaps you don't see the Wheel of Fortune is starting to turn, you know, and it's kind of lots of energy in there that you feel. It's a very compacted September, October, all so compacted before it turns. But in October, you might find yourself a bit too enthusiastic, you know, and, but you don't see yet. You don't see yet. Yes, it is a new thing. It's so promising. It's promising. And, and you've got rights to be enthusiastic and everything. But, you know, you have to give yourself some time. It's not no action in October. Action will supposed to come somewhere in November. But even, even then, even then, no rush. Page of Wands. Yeah, even then, no rush. Stabilize yourself. Two and pen. Yes, two of pentacles. The lovers card. Perhaps you have some partnership in October. In sorry, in September. Perhaps you meet somebody with money, with ambition, with huge ambition. Who will say, "Oh, we are moving this forward"? That what you started big time. Somebody, maybe somebody who helped you. Yeah, you know, it could be that is all this line uh, uh, connected. This line, January, uh, uh, May, and uh, and September. Now, this aggressive person pushed you into uh, um, idea that whatever you started can be much bigger, can be far more than perhaps it's even possible. You see, perhaps you think at this point he actually pushed it into you. this partner, this 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 uh, um, one that you're dealing with. This energy that suddenly came in September pushes you towards something to think that it is bigger than it really is. It's, it's more than you, 
than you thought. It's it's perhaps even something else, and it's moving towards something very prosperous. And and you've got us to be ambitious here, but it won't be until end of this year. Perhaps in next year. Perhaps in the future. In a, in further in life in future next year and. But for this year, you have to solidify it. You have to make this idea from uh, um, um, Ace of Wands, Taurus, Page of Wands, Page of Wands in um, June, and again, again, after all of this uh, uh, enthusiasm and things happening in September and, and October, Page of Wands again. You are again at a situation... Uh, uh, yes, I'm going forward, but look, you have to be solid. This time, four and four, you have to be solid. This this was kind of, I have to think, think uh, things through, uh, uncomfortable, very uncomfortable, four, four, four again. I mean, you are much in a four energy, I mean, which is security, which with page of ones, it's very nice to have fours around, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You're starting something that, you know, in, in October, you might feel like, oh, I'm rushing it, I'm flying it up, you know, I'm turning this wheel, you know, in a day. But no, you, you get back to your senses and you say, no, stability, security, stability, security first. And by the end of the year, you will stabilize and secure secure yourself. Uncomfortable situation, you have to juggle the, the, the moments, perhaps this partnership, uh, relationship with partner, if you have a partner. Uh, um, juggling your feelings about the, the, the situation, what you started, what it turned into, you know, after, after a while, uh, uh, during the year, how the situation actually uh, uh, move forward. It move. It, it's. It seems it's moving forward, particularly after the summer months into the winter, September, October. It moves big time forward. But I see you stabilizing it here. You realize no. This is going much too fast. It can be. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Look at this. You've got tremendous possibility, but you are right when the end of the, the, the year to uh, um, hold your horses, keep it stable, and keep it stable. You'll wait next year. You will get your results, but you put solid, solid ground here. You're bringing solid ground this year. You move into Seven of Pentacles, which is solid ground. You will uh, uh, get your results next year you're expecting something next year but very very solid you put solidity into something i believe is that what you wanted look these two of wands when it first jumped out it's you want your solidity and you did put some groundwork in it obviously it seems to me that that that, that, that what you started it didn't work well for you and then you had to change your course during the year somewhere in the in the uh, uh, um in um, this um, April, May, and then further through summer months, you got, you move forward slowly. It was up and down, up and down. This wasn't smooth ride, but you getting to your solid, you managed to solidify. You manage to solidify. You're going towards your prosperity. That's what is influencing energy. You're going towards that. With the lover's card here, it's it's beautiful. I mean, even you can say that's marriage. <laughs> it doesn't, um, perhaps, yes, you know, for some of you. But perhaps good partnership, good uh, um, balanced energy within yourself. Whatever way you're looking, it is solidity by the end of the year. You will manage it will take some work, it will take some inner work, outer work within yourself, uh, thinking, uh, going through the different situation, um, uh, um, dealing with people as well. You know, you will manage a lot this year. You will manage a lot this year, going through different situations. It's a different, different, very complex year. Again, uh, I'm saying this is very complex year for you, Aquarius, but you're managing. You will manage you going towards this big time. Very nice. It is very nice. I wish you a happy, prosperous 2020.